we're going to work on that can. But let's read this. Case of curiosities. Collect objects that you do not understand or have meaning for. Collect very small things. Store them in a small tin and I don't know what else it said. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, what a way to start a voiceover. I'm just saying because, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, someone I know whose husband smokes or used to smoke, I don't know which, he needs to smoke these cigarillos. And they came in these wonderful little tin cans, tins, case thingies. And she saved it them. And then she gave us uh, several of us one. And before we had even left the meeting, I had already dropped a couple things in there because I pick up treasures that the universe leaves me on the street, y'all. Because the universe will leave treasures for me on streets and sidewalks. Mm -hmm. They probably leave treasure for you too, but you just have to recognize it as treasure. So anyway, and by and then after we walked away from this little meeting, mm -hmm, I walked across the street to the corner and guess what I found? Another treasure. So anyways, uh, I thought, well, I'm going to alter two of these because I have a third one, but I didn't alter it. It's the one that's got my little treasures in it. And uh, so we're going to alter them. And as you saw, I was sanding the top of it just to get a little uh, texture just for the gesso to stick in there. Just a little bit more butter. Now, of course, you scratch it, it's going to scratch the paint off because that's just how it works with metal, y'all. Uh, that will even happen if you're using metal paint. It will scratch to a certain degree. Just check your car out. Just saying. Okay. Just saying. So I'm wiping away from the very edge there with the uh, wet baby wipe and making sure my uh, hinge area still works quite well. And I picked up these, uh, I was at the Walmarts one time, just one time though y'all, and uh, I saw, you know, in the little sewing, sewing department over there, the fabric department. I like fabric, but I don't buy any more because I don't use it. Anyway, long story short, I mean, so I quit buying it mostly. And uh, so there was these little button packages of little different button things, and I thought, oh, those are adorable. And then oh, instantly in my head it says, those would look perfect on those tins you have. APG, get them. So I picked up two of them. And that's kind of where the colors came from is, you know, oh, and I'm only showing you me doing one of them because they're almost pretty much, well, they're not the same, but, you know, it's the same thing, sort of, y'all. And I will try to link, uh, if I remember, in the upper right-hand corner to other tin can projects I have done, even though this is not a tin can, it sort of is a can, but it's not a can, it's a tin and uh, I keep trying to use this crackle paste and it never does work for me like it's supposed to. Now you can't see on that background, that's coral, y'all, not to be confused with coral grimes. This is the color coral. Anyways, I mixed it up, y'all saw that. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this stuff out because it just never does work for me. There was some crackles going on in the background already from where the gesso was thick and dried and cracked itself. And I do get some lovely texture from this, but it's mostly from bubbles and the way the, uh, that I put it on there that it was all different levels and such. So I got a little bit of crackles, but not, not a lot. It had a lot of bubbles in it for some weird reason. And we're going to antique it so we can see what little cracks we got and the little bubbles. And it looks amazing freaking amazing and the texture is just wonderful it's like this really old tin can except it doesn't have dust on it <laughs> well it might have dust on it now but it didn't have dust on it <laughs> and i'm just smooshing that around my finger because i liked it best you know because it kind of gets down in all those little cracks and crevices yes i got some crackling just um some of that is, like I said, is from when the, uh, the gesso was drying and stuff on there anyways. So, the gesso and the paint and 
I'm just wiping away a little bit of that. And that's, I don't know what color brown that is, y'all. Hopefully, I put it in the list of ingredients in the description box below. Please click on the word more to see more information, oddly enough. And I'm wiping it away with a damp baby wipe because you don't want it too much. You just want it in the cracks mostly. And then I'll think I put a little bit more back on there because I'm like, well, I think I wiped away too much. Do I put more on there? Oh, I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Look. So it's got a lot, of, it had a lot of bubbles in it. Of course, they pop by the time it dried. And that, that uh, painter's tape around there is protecting that part of the tin because I didn't want to paint that part because it was fine. I just wanted to cover up the words on the top. So here we go. I'm showing you the texture again because now I can touch it. It's dry, y'all. Oh. And I don't know how many hours worth of recording I had, but, you know, it's drying times on this one. So here's that buttons, those button package things stuff had different kinds of button package things in there. Hopefully I put it in the uh, description box below. So we're going to use some E6000 because we're gluing to metal and we're gluing metal on metal. And I find it works the best for me because I didn't want to mess with JB Weld, which technically, theoretically, is the best thing to glue metal to metal. Although I don't know how it would work on raw metal to painted metal. That I don't know. So I cut the shanks off of uh, some of the buttons that I was going to use because, you know, they have shanks on the back. And I cut them off because then with shanks on there, that's, you know, the part you sew through. It's a shank, button shank, y'all. And uh, this particular one had a little uh, faux silk fabric flower kind of thing. And I'm like, yeah, we're going to use that too. Mm -hmm. oh. I don't know if this is my favorite or if the other one's my favorite. But you're not going to see the other one until the photo montage. Just to, well, you might have saw it in the thumbnail. Did I put it in the thumbnail? I don't. Oh, Lord, people, I don't even remember. Bless my heart. So we're gluing them all on. Oh, I dropped it, of course. Glue side down. At least it wasn't on the floor with the dog ear. So there we go. And we're just going to put that right there. I had already sort of pre-planned this and had taken a picture of it. So I knew how I wanted to put it. Now see on the inside, it, it's got the name brand again. So we're just going to glue a piece of scrapbook paper glue. We're going to uh, double side ATG tape gun it. <laughs> Not a gun, y'all. Uh, tape it to the inside of the tin. And see that the big flower? I'm going to uh, put that in there with some of that E6000 as well. And um, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Just saying. So I'm making sure I get it perfectly aligned. <laughs> Bless your heart if you blew that. So, I know it's kind of hard to see, but it looked so good in real life. Oh, y'all. And it's amazing. It's like, wow. How serendipitous is that? It just fits right in there and it's almost centered. It's centered enough. Let's put some E6000 on there, y'all. You see, I had to leave this open for that to dry. Now, E6000 is a little stinky. So, using a well-ventilated area. Look! Oh, it's cute. Okay, let's peel off this uh, tape. I'll put a sticker over the bottom. Well, a sticker. I'll put another piece of paper, you know, with the double-sided uh, ATG tape and all that. And it just had a little residue on there. I'm just scraping it off my fingernail. Could have cut that out. I don't know. Bless my heart. <laughs> and here's here's my little bucket, bucking button package. And I'm like, I want to put something right there on the front. We're going to put that little flower right there on the front. So I'm going to get my little uh, jewelry, jewelry cutting uh, thing. See, that's the shank. And we're going to cut that off. It just snipped right off. It just snipped right off. I don't know if you could use scissors, y'all. I've not tried to use scissors, but I'm just trying to get it cut real close to the back of that flower. And we're going to glue that on with E6000. Mm -hmm. Gluing it on. 
doesn't take a lot because you don't want a whole lot of this glue will just smoosh it right out from underneath it and then you got this super shining glue you know which over the top of that tin I didn't show you I did go over the whole thing with a coat of matte medium because I want to make sure it's all nice and sealed and stuck together and all that stuff I probably even did two coats now that I'm thinking about it out loud Here's the inside. Ta -da! How pretty. Now, if that's all you want to see, then you can just stop watching the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Value the full time, your kind comments, your likes, your shares, and everything good about you. But if you want to stick around and see how I make a little journal to go in that little tin can, then please feel free to hang out. Because I'm proceeding on. I didn't even didn't even dally did I so I'm cutting down some faux chipboard also known as food box cereal box cracker box um, frozen waffle box what whatever whatever kind of box you got y'all now between you and me I made this journal spine just a little too thick I went with half an inch and I should have went with way less than that but that's okay it fit barely so this journal can't have much stuff inside of it. You can't be adding a lot of junk to it because it's, yeah. So I'm smooshing that together and going to clamp it down. And uh, we're going single thickness for the front and back cover. It was just the spine I doubled up. I don't know why. <laughs> You'd have thought I'd never made one of these here journals before. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, good gracious. It's not like you've never made one of these before. That's what I kept thinking. The whole time I was messing with it. I'm like, what are you doing here? It's not like you never made one of these before. So I'm gluing that. Uh, if you're going to use, if you're not going to put uh, white gesso over your food packaging on the the written side you want to make sure you can't see through your paper otherwise you could see through your paper and you might could see some of that but in this case I couldn't because I think I used it used it laws bless my heart I used uh, cardstock which is more thicker or maybe I just used paper on this one I don't even know now y'all and I want to make sure I have at least that width the thickness of the, my piece of card there my faux chipboard between the gaps to uh, so that it uh, will easily fold over without getting in a bind, y'all. And now I'm cutting strips for something. <laughs> ah, it's been a few days, y'all. It's been a few days. And we're going to, uh, evidently, we're scoring. Oh, I think I'm going to make a pocket with a gusset. That's what I'm doing. Oh, yes, I'm making a pocket with some gussets. Now, gussets. Uh, you tend to have two score lines so that you can fold it up so that uh, it has a gusset. <laughs> yeah, uh, accordion. See, like that. <laughs> if you need to slow down the video, please have a over video and look for the little gear and slow it down. Okay? Or you can speed it up, in which case I sound funny both ways. I may sound more funnier one way than the other. So I'm cutting out the corners because when I fold it all up and glue it inside the journal, I don't want any excess bulk right there. And I want to make sure I have both the sides and the bottom where the pocket will adhere to, uh, to the inside of the journal that they are mostly the same width so that when, they, uh, when, it, when you put stuff in the pocket, it's mostly the same, <laughs> mostly the same, oh my gosh. Okay, and now I'm going to make an envelope of sorts. Now, I'm totally playing this by ear. I did not have a sample. I just had this worked out in my head, which already may tell you we are already in trouble from the get-go. So, I'm making some score lines because this is a double pocket thing that gets folded in the middle like I just did and there's going to be an envelope on one side and then an envelope on the other because this is going to slide into the signature okay now I could try to explain it but uh, 
I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I got it worked out. <laughs> And I'm sure somebody like Genevieve or somebody has got uh, more butter information, easier know-how than this. Okay, now this is going to be this this part up here. I think that's where I fold down for my flap because it's a flap at the top. And I'm like, do I want to score it? And I score it, but it's in the wrong place. Do I want to score it there? Do I want to score it here? I don't know. Let's fold this over. Oh, Lord, my battery. Oh, plug it up. Get some electricity going to that thing now. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Yeah. Should have plugged it up, I guess, when I started. Anywho, so I'm just scoring, and then I decided to score it in the wrong place. So I'm trying to unscore it, in which case you just go on the back side where you scored and just ease, ease, ease another line in there. Just saying. I don't know, y'all. It was just something in my head. I'm sure it's done. I am sure Jenna of Eve has done it. See, now I'm just going to fold it in the middle. I'm like, yeah, that's probably about right. I don't know what size my pages are, y'all. I don't know. Is that right? I don't know. Yeah, that's that's right. That's close enough. <laughs> so, okay. So, we're going to... Why are we going to score it? Let's just fold it because we know it folded okay right there. So we'll just fold it right there. We'll just do this one too. Ignore that other score line that's really not supposed to be there. We'll just fold it over. Now I leave just a little bit of a gap because remember this is going to be uh, into the spine, y'all. And we need to ease out just a little sliver right there because that's where it's going to fold at. And just a little sliver right there because the bottom's going to fold at because we're making an envelope. Okay, and we're gonna cut. We're cutting a sliver. I don't know. I get I get confused so so easily. Bless my heart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause we're gonna cut this off. Cut that off. It's just paper, y'all. It would have been better if I'd have used a uh, you know plain white sheet of paper, but, you know, instead of my fancy paper. But that's okay. It's still just paper. This one doesn't actually work out. I mean, it works out, but it's it's uh, doesn't work out. So I save it and make another one. That's actually a little better. <laughs> it's a hundred percent, but it's a little better. We're just gonna put a little thumb notch in there while we have it all nice and opened up. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's still gonna go that way. Okay. Well, that one's kind of not centered, but that's okay. Okay. Now let's uh, make this look more like an envelope flap. <clears throat> and we got to try to match match all that up, which I do better on the second one, but I don't show you that one because it's like fiddling with the same, pretty much the same way. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm sure somebody has a template for this, okay? I'm going to fold it all out so, so you can see. Fold up that part, fold up that part, fold up that part. Need to cut them corners, cut them corners. Is that where I wanted to I don't know, but that's where I did it, y'all. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. That, just pretend I didn't cut that one spot, okay? Okay. So, anyway, I think this video is like 30 whole minutes. Ignore that little cut. It's not really there. <laughs> uh, get some glue. Let's put some glue on it. Okay, so we're just going to put some glue on it. It's wet glue. You can use uh, double tape if you want. I did not glue that bottom part because we're going to fold up from this side. Watch. Well, it's going to be pretty. Y'all. It's going to have a nice, pretty edge on it. If you want to ink, now would have been, before you added the glue, would have been a good time to do that, probably. Okay, so we fold that up, and then it just becomes invisible. Look at that. You just can't even see it. I could have cut that whole bottom little piece out right there, but I didn't, so that's okay. It works. It's just not quite the right height. My second one's better. <laughs> it's not perfect either, but it's better. I just couldn't quite seem to get my head wrapped around what height I wanted that to be. 
Well, yeah. Okay, let's try it in the city. Oh, look. Ha! Look how short that is. <laughs> what am I going to do? We'll just put some score lines in that top part and act like it's supposed to be that way. So now we're moving on back to the cover, y'all. And uh, we're scoring it, and I really didn't need to score it. I could have just eased it up, you know, with my hand. Like I said, you thought this is the first time I ever make one like this, and it's not. It's probably not, probably about my 10th or 12th or 100th time. Not maybe not 100, but, you know, a few. And, uh, yeah, I, I just, Lord, y'all. Okay, so. Let's put some glue on it. No, I don't move the scoreboard because why? <laughs> I must have been having a rough day. Or it ended up being a rough day. I don't know. Let's just squish that down in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Put some more glue on it because we love our Arlene's original tacky glue. Just saying we do. We love that stuff. Easing it in that little gap right there. Uh, that's some pretty paper, y'all. I might have even had another sheet of it. I don't know. I didn't look because I'm like, you know what? I am just pressing forward. We're just going to keep on going. Okay. So now that's going to have to dry for a while. And I'm going to have to clean out the uh, glue from the, from the grooves on my scoreboard. Look at that. See, that's pretty. Looks okay. We'll just cut that off. Nobody would know it was like that. And then, look, it cracked. That happens sometimes with paper, especially old paper like I have. Because <laughs> I don't use it as often as I should. So I have this fabric laying there, and I'm like, well, we'll just stick that on there. And I'm getting ahead of myself, y'all, because I'm not quite thinking through to my next step. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, we'll just glue that on there, and it'd be just fine. It. I'm like, oh, I like that. That's perfect. Oh, it's a little off-center. Let's, oh, no, don't pull it off because it'll just take that paper right with it. <laughs> Suck. God. Put some more glue on it. Be all right. Nobody see it. It'll be all right. Now we're going to put some paper on the inside. Is it the same paper? I think it is. I had like a 12 by 12 piece of uh, designer paper. And I'm smooshing my, uh, my glue all around the inside. And we're just going to lay that on there. That's okay. There's extra glue on there. It's okay. It's perfectly all right. Smooth it down with a bone puller. It's not a real bone. Ease those little grooves in. Yep. 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 Okay. There we go. Looking good. Wipe some of that extra glue out. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that was. Now we're going to ink it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sometimes I ink it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I think I will add ink to that after all. So put some on the fabric too, and then I'm like, uh, I didn't sew my signature in yet. So here's our pocket with the gussets going on the inside. And I want to put now, now. I got a little narrow. Well, it's like an eighth of an inch uh, piece that we're gluing, y'all. Okay, got it easy. Do it. And I put the thumb notch. I don't know if I showed that earlier. I don't know. So I'm gluing down just the one glue edge and then I'm folding it up and then doing the inside and folding it up, doing the outside and smooshing it down. And then you want to run your uh, something inside so that your gusset is not glued shut. And I'm going to try to show you. It's hard. It's hard to shut, get that on camera. See, see, it's nice. It's a nice full pocket, y'all. It's a gusseted pocket. And I'm like, this is where I decided now I didn't want my thread to show when I sew my signature in. And what am I do? So I had that other piece of fabric laying there, and I thought, well, we'll just cover up that because I didn't want my my uh, sewing in signature thread to show for whatever reason, y'all. Sometimes I can't explain stuff. So, and evidently I lost the footage where I put a uh, eyelet in the top there because I plan on hanging a little charm doohickey off of there. Making sure that's tight. It's just a simple pamphlet stitch, y'all. And later on, I should 
glue something to the ends of those threads on the inside. Later on, I probably should. See, just little pages. There's our little envelope. Mm -hmm. Little envelope folio. And then we're going to glue this. Uh, this is going to wrap around the journal. Okay, it's another piece of fabric I lay in there. Just saying. We're going to do that because I didn't want to see the threads. I don't know why. I, sometimes I just don't know why, y'all. We're going to tie this button on the end. It's still got the shank on it. I thought it'd be cute. Mm -hmm. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. Just smooshing it all down. I don't know. I guess that's it. Now we're going to show you. Here's the reveal. See our little Ta-da! That button was too big. Once I put the journal in there, I had to pull it off and I had to fix it. And there we go. And then here's the, the little flowers on the side. I put them on a little pin. And there we go. Wrapped around. And I did a little stamping inside. There's a little tag. Just some little stamping. I didn't do much because y'all know I don't do much. There's our little pockets. Nothing in it yet. And, uh, oh, it's a paper clip, y'all. We put a paper clip on there. Hidden paper clip, y'all. Look at that. Oh, and look at the thread coming off our little butterfly. Oh, how cute. It's just darling. I said something I learned from dear Julie Julie. And, uh, just some little stampings and some little doily paper stuff. And, yeah, another paper clip. It's just got a little, uh, stuff on the end flag and there's a little belly band. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Uh, I have made these before, but I don't know what I'm doing. And then that's just a little little piece of ephemera probably from the graphics fairy, y'all. It's got amazing stuff over there. Just saying. There's the other side of that envelope pocket thing. And uh, there's another super skinny little tag in that little corner. And that pretty much does it. Can we wrap that around? Tuck it in. Ta da! Get those lined up. Mm -hmm. Close it. Ta da! I love it. I do love it. Oh, and surprise! Here's a second one. Now that's got some, uh, some kind of black lacy stuff on there, and it's got a little button on the front, too. And the butterfly inside and this one's closed with a piece of elastic that's got a little bangle on it and it's it's pretty much the same thing it's not quite the exact same thing there's a pocket it's not perfect either but it's better <laughs> look how pretty that one is mm -hmm. some little stamping some little graphics fairy stuff in there here comes this little butterfly that's not the grippiest butterfly um, paper clipper. I need to put something on those little thread ends. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how many pages it's got. Between 30 and 40, y'all. Probably. Something like that. Oh, let's get that back in there. Oh, get in there, girl. Mm. Oh, just little corner tucks. And... Mm -hmm. Look at that. Pretty. I appreciate each and every one of you, your kind comments, your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. If you've not subscribed, I would like to invite you to do so at this time. See, that one had a in pocket too. And click on that little bell if you want notifications of new videos and lives that are on the third Thursday of the month. Um, photo montage. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. It was fun to make, and I think that came out really well, considering I did know what I was doing, and I just couldn't quite get it together. <laughs> and that made me happy. If you should be interested in purchasing anything, anything you see me make, drop me an email, and we'll see if we can work out a deal, Bill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just have fun with it, people. Enjoy what you're doing, even if it's frustrating you. Just laugh and keep on trudging on. It'll be all better in the end. See, it's all better. The big old long photo montage, too, isn't it? <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I like that tie cut up 
there. That's two die cuts layered together. Just saying. Look at that. Oh, you too can make a mess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And happy arting, y'all.